Hello everyone, I am Isabella. Welcome to my channel, Tips on Poultry. Today I will be talking about whether it's possible to start up a poultry farm with no money or little money. And this is what I really think. Now the first thing you have to consider is to construct a very farm house that will protect your birds from predators and from rain. Now the second thing is to acquire local birds. Now in Uganda it's very possible to acquire local birds like from the village. Or you can buy younger chicks that you're seeing, these very little ones, at a very cheaper price since they are young. Or you can acquire these birds through a friend who has local chickens at their home. Now I know you're wondering how you're going to feed these local birds of yours when you acquire them. And this can be very simple. You can rear your birds on free range system. Free range chicken system of farming is a traditional system of rearing chickens. It involves letting your local birds to move around the compound or within the neighborhood to look for their own food. One thing you should know about these local birds is that they thrive best in their natural environment. Another way you can provide for your birds is through giving them leftovers from your kitchen. This can be by placing the food in an open container whereby they can reach out and eat the food with ease. And then another way you can buy food for your birds. But this food is not that expensive. I think a kilo can cost you 1,500 shillings, Ugandan shillings. Provide for your birds that food in case there isn't any leftovers from your kitchen or when you don't, they, don't, they have no access for food when they move around the compound. You can provide them food. That food you buy, put it in the feeder. So that they can eat. And also another thing, this food you buy and then place on your compound helps them keep the buds around your compound so that they don't move too far to the extent of forgetting to come back where they sleep. So this food keeps them around your compound and it also prevents the buds to be stolen by people with no good intentions and also protects your birds from getting accidents like in case it's moving on the road and then a car fast moving car comes and squashes it another reason i would recommend you buying chicken feed is that they contain a lot of food values because it has maize it has silver fish minerals and other salts they add in them in the chicken feeds now, if you don't have a feed that you can improvise, like by cutting a jerrycan, like in the middle, you cut a jerrycan and then provide your chickens with the food, like here. If you don't want your chickens to scatter the food on the ground, you can place a sack under the feeder to hold the food. This chicken food they scatter on the ground, you can still gather it and keep it for another day another thing you should do is to provide your chickens clean water whereby you can place the water in a drinker now you notice i place the, the drinker above the ground so that the water doesn't get dirty as they drink or when it rains it doesn't get that the water we provide for these local birds at times contains water soluble antibiotics and nutritional supplements now these antibiotics and nutritional supplements are bought, of which these nutritional supplements contain vitamins, essential amino acids, mineral salts, and electrolytes. These vitamins will provide faster, healthier growth, disease resistance, and improve immunity for your chickens. It also improves egg production and overcomes stress. When your hens start laying, make sure you provide them a separate house from the rest of the birds. This makes sure that the eggs are well protected by the hen 
and in case of any fights, the eggs are well secured in a, a room that can't be reached by other birds. At this time, we had three birds laying in their own separate rooms. This is how your farm will grow with so many chickens through multiplying. When it comes to protecting your chicks, make sure you separate them from their mom, whereby you put them in a separate room. Now here, I'm collecting the chicks from the mother in a bucket so that I transfer the chicks to another room without the mother. This will protect the, the chicks from predators and the external environment. Keeping the chicks indoors will prevent them from dying in large numbers. This is another hand with its own chicks, but I want to add the chicks in the bucket here so that it can protect all the chicks while inside in this house. The major reason as to why these chicks are kept separate from the mother from outside is because we also have turkeys and these turkeys usually attack these young chicks and kill them all. Now, while transferring these young chicks to another hen, make sure that the hen doesn't attack these new chicks by studying its behavior towards the chicks. This way of keeping your little chicks inside the house to a richer size where you can let them wander around the compound is very safe so as your chicks can grow, many and end up with a very big farm of chickens. When your chicks reach at least this size, you can let them out to wander the compound. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel.